everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs Zombies. And today we are continuing on the puzzle mode, which I failed quite horribly the last time we did it. So let's uh, give it another go for another chain reaction. Now we're not going to uh, continue that. I can't believe how horribly I failed. Uh, it's heartbreaking, really. I was going to beat it, you know, if it wasn't for that, but... That does happen sometimes, so just have to. Oh boy! Yeah, you just have to. I don't know. Be lucky, I suppose. Oh, Mr. Pogo stick. Well, that'll kill him. So I'm not so worried about that. Let's see what else is here. Nice. You're dead. Let's see, yeah, let's get rid of these guys first. Um, I really do not feel like having, like, any surprises this time around. So I swear, if I lose another, I will just be heartbroken. Wow. Thanks, man. Alright, well, we got this, these three uh, rows taken care of, so that worked out nicely. It's only uh, this now that I have to worry about. I don't have to worry about the pogo stick. Um, thank God. Squash will kill him, so thank God. Uh, now it's a bit nerve wracking at this point. Wow. <laughs> I, I swear, for all the trouble I went through for the past rounds, uh, this time around was actually easy. Even though I don't really have much uh, right to say so since I fudged up so many times. But um, yeah, we unlocked the next one, Ace of Ace. Nice little 90s reference there. And this right here, essentially what it does is uh, let you know what's inside these faces as you can see. And yes, we do have a gargantuar in this one, which is it's going to be so annoying. But yeah, that's that's usually what comes with these stages. Um, you are going to get ones where gargantuars are there, especially in endless mode. It's a bit insane to say the least. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god, are you... Please, 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 man. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat my brains, man. Why? Oh, yeah, so you see what I'm working with here. It's tragic, I tell you. Um, yeah. I swear, man, those gargantuars are a pain in the ass sometimes. Just leave me alone already. And it's usually nice if you get like two squashes free to at least take care of the gargantuar, because otherwise it just becomes a pain. Um, all right, let's let everything get. Oh, stupid computer, man. I don't know why it does that. So take care of these guys first, cause my god, my god. Uh, no, no, no. Where's that gargantuar? Um, gargantuar. No, I'm not liking what uh, could be possible here. What are the chances that he's right here? Uh, very bad. Um. Oh god. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> See that? That sucks. I just freaking hate when they do that to you. Yep. Okay. There goes that. We don't have to worry about this row anymore. Thank God. Ice shroom, 
Die. I'm not allowing that to happen again. I refuse to. Oh, let's see you survive that, man. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. And yeah, just do whatever. Oh, how are you surviving? Yes, there we go, finally. Man. And, um,. Well, the next thing we do unlock is the survive. No, the endless. Uh, Vase breaker. Vase breaker, I should say. I'm not gonna attempt that one yet, just because, um. Yeah, my, my track record with that is not so great, but. The next thing we have here is the I Zombie puzzles, which is perhaps my favorite in the whole game. Oh, you traitor, man. You're like a double agent, man. You're helping both of us. It's pretty weak. So, yes, essentially your job is to use the sun to buy zombies so you can eat the brains at the end of each row here, as you can see, and it kind of falls in line with the Xbox version. There's like a versus mode, so consider this for like um, practice, I suppose, for if you're going to be on the zombies side. If I'm getting that right, at least. There are a lot of, there's a lot of strategy to this, but at the moment it's a bit simplified just because it's only like the first level, so. Why would you need much? Put you there, you'll take the damage. You can take punishment, so. And we're going to use like the basic zombie as uh, fodder for this. There we go, Mr. Squash. There we go. Perfect. Building up our co uh, coffers. And you get 400 sun, I believe, from each sunflower. Roughly. Good, good. Um, let's go for overkill, why not? We got the sun for it. It's just really annoying with that ice shrimp there. No, not ice shrimp, snow peas. Um, yeah. And it's not even worth, like, bringing two zombies at the same time, otherwise the squash will take care of them both. And God knows you don't need any of that, so. Look at all this sun, man. All this beautiful sun. Oh man, please eat that. Please eat that plant, dude. Thank you. And are you going to make it? Yes, you will. That's one puzzle solved. Yeah, once you get like the dancing zombies in this, or I should say a uh, disco stew, uh, it gets pretty cool the kind of strategies you can use. And then with the digger zombies as well. It's pretty neat, pretty neat, but it can be really frustrating at times also. No fungus among us earn. Complete a nighttime level without planting any mushrooms. I don't understand why I would, like, unlock this particular achievement since, well, it's not like the, I don't know, the, just, type of stage you would actually get this thing on it's more suitable for like adventure mode but yeah i guess it's a shortcut towards getting this just do like one i zombie mini game and you're set it's really strange though <laughs> i'm going to show off like how to get all the different achievements in the game just because you know it's interesting and 
you might see like a pretty neat strategies to use for like the game as well. Now the screen door zombies are perfect for this kind of stage because the screen door pretty much blocks all the peas, especially it cancels out the effects of the snow peas. As you'll see right here. See, he's not going to be uh, struck with that ailment of uh, being frozen, so immensely useful in this. There goes one pain in the, um, yeah, pain in the ass. I was thinking about using lighter language, but in that case, I was feeling ballsy. What can I say? There you go. It's going to be screen door mania. And it's only a hundred sun, which is a pretty good deal, I would say. It's surprising, because I didn't think it was only that much. Now we got some money, we got some sun. Yeah, their only true weakness is like uh, these spike reeds here. It doesn't matter if you have a screen door or not, it's going to kill you. It's going to bypass your defenses. Which is tragic. Okay, and I, I gotta really work on that. Keep clicking off the screen and uh what can I say? It's the only method I can like record in is by making this game into like a windowed game rather than full screen. Cause I just lack the money to buy any better technology like record oh, oh. Really man. Get out there, soldier. I don't know, is this going to work? Is this any better? Alright, he didn't lose his arm, so... That's something, at least. Really sh I really wish we had, like, the pole vault zombie for this. Oh, really, man? I... I had a feeling I'd have to do this, but... I just didn't want to believe it, what can I say? Jeez. Ironically, I think this guy's going faster than the screen door zombie, so... You tell me. Yeah, this is something I think I can do pretty well in for the endless mode. Just because this is a lot more fun and... I don't know, somehow... I'm more luckier doing this than I am in the vase breaker. Can you dig it? We sure can. So now we have the firewood. Um, excuse me, I forget the exact name for it, but yeah, we got this to work with. We don't have our screen door zombies anymore, so kind of sucks, but let's see. So 50 sun, what should we use it on? This would just be futile, that's for sure. Um, this is useless, uh, funny, but that's how they chose to do it, so let's see if we can get away with doing this. Okay, perfect. So now it's going to die from the potato mine. And there we go, we got that row settled up. Um, yeah, completed. Then once he fin uh, eats up the sunflower, then we can work on this row here, hopefully. Although, I don't know, I'm trying to think here. Maybe this one might be better. Probably use a bucket head for that one. Then I might use a digger zombie just to show him off on this row, because, you know, three, three of these guys, Plus this guy. Yeah, that's a lot of damage there, so I'd rather not risk it. So let's send him out right here. Put you out there. And fodder. And we just wait for our payday, that's all. Speaking of which. Speaking of which, thank you kindly. Uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do that. And just so I don't waste anyone's time. Two, three, 
now. And we have more sun than we know what to do with. Not a bad problem, of course, but... Yeah, you're going the wrong way, guy. It's this way. This way. This way. Fine, you do what you want. You got, you got that party to go to, that shindig of yours. And yeah, these, these ones are going a lot smoother, but I say that now, and let's uh, watch me get like a puzzle that just stumps me. Totally nuts. Um, yes, this was inevitable. So we have a couple ways we can approach this one. We can use the ladder zombie to go right over it and uh, do it that way or we can uh, hmm, could use the bucket head he'll last long enough to uh, eat through the walnut but um, you know what let's let's risk it a little bit he'll be he'll be able to endure like all the damage while he eats through this I'm just not 100% sure on what his status will be once he gets to the sunflower here. But he's not showing any damage yet. As you can see from the bucket. I mean, soon he will, but... He has a couple stages before he dies, and... Yeah, we got to the first stage here. And that walnut's almost done for, so... I think we'll be okay. And you'll know the bucket's about to fall off once he reaches a certain stage. Where his eyes popping out here. And yeah, there we go. So soon the bucket's gonna fall off and then... Then you know, he'll be horribly exposed. But at this point, we already did the damage we needed to do, so... Yeah, yes. Alright, now for the next plan. Um, it's just annoying because um, put it here, then you got the snow piece to worry about, but you have to do it sometimes. That's just for insurance, I mean, I don't know whether I really had to do that, but it doesn't hurt. expedites the process a lot. So. And yeah, he was as good as dead anyways, but he did get that far, so I'm happy with that progress. Swiftly dealt with, huh? Alright, he's gonna be the meat shield, and uh, well, not anymore now. But now he's protected from the bucket head, which is uh, pretty convenient. And yeah, these little shrooms, I hate them. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. I didn't think so. Yeah, now you can see how annoying those freaking uh, ladder zombies can be. Oh, nice gold. Nice a diamond. That's what I like to see. And let's see, how much more do we have here? It's already been about 20 minutes, but... Now let's do the la um, this one here, Dead Zeppelin. We've got the balloon zombies this time to work with, and the bungee zombie. We can't really show off the specific strategy that I learned about. Because now that we have a magnet shroom here, we have to be aware of that. Otherwise, we might end up wasting money on a bucket head when all we get is a zombie in the end. So We'll do this first. Um, it's a safer bet. So It's going to get a little crazy here, that's for sure. But... Um, We'll worry about that when that time comes. Let's see, 
now. Just because I don't want, like, this bothering me throughout the whole puzzle. Let's just get rid of it now. So, yeah, we'll just do this. We'll also send him here, because that's about 600 worth. Uh, yeah, 600 uh, sun there, so. Then also here, so about 800 sun we're looking forward to, so. Get rid of you. Send a balloon zombie, and it's not even gonna be fair, really. And send you here, and this puzzle is done. Yeah, you must be feeling pretty bad about yourself. You can't do nothing, yet you see, you see us coming. There we go, and another puzzle done. And that has been <laughs> that has been the puzzle mode so far. We have four more to go, and then possibly the endless mode for both of them. We'll see. And then uh, we'll see what happens there. Perhaps a hard mode, but you know that'll be for another episode. So this has been another edition of Let's Play Plants vs Zombies. I hope you enjoyed, everybody. Have a great night or day, or afternoon. Sayonara.